Hi guys, a bit more on this um, little circuit here. It may have solved one problem, but um, another one seems to have arisen. A bit about this wave generator. Um, it's just an El Cheapo kit. I don't have a circuit diagram for it. It didn't come with one. Apparently you have to uh, buy one of their magazines to get the information in regards to it. Um, but it's, it is from the Short Circuit 3 series from JCAR and it is um, the SC3 H30 by the look of it um, wave generator it generates a square wave and a sawtooth wave sawtooth wave does absolutely nothing on this circuit, it won't work at all however the square wave seems to work quite fine other than it doesn't keep a 50-50% duty cycle on the high side and the low side which to me explains as to why we were able to get a current flow in the opposite direction that you have seen um, in the previous videos. The way I've hooked it up here today is I've disconnected the negative output altogether. I'm coming straight off the battery negative going through this meter and then out to the negative side of the circuit. This meter here is of course hooked to the positive side of the output of the wave generator and going into the circuit. Um, now the reason I've done this is to isolate this part or this circuit here from this circuit here. What I want to do is read the current that this circuit is drawing only um, and this one we can worry about later. It is not a very efficient circuit um, and could be made a lot better I believe. But first we need to figure out uh, what is actually happening within this circuit. I will post the schematic at the end of this video for this circuit and um, I'm also going to be posting a picture of my old um, test oscillator to see if we can somehow modify or do anything with that to give me a, um, some sort of signal generator that can uh, put out some thump but anyway we will crank the circuit up and I will do my best to try and explain as I am understanding it uh, what is happening here. You'll see at the moment on the positive output side we are putting in 2.94 milliamps and on the negative um, side we are putting 3.05 milliamps in now it seems to me that we have a situation like this at the moment where the high side of the square wave um, the duty cycle and these are just um, reference numbers to show the difference by no means represents anything that's happening in the circuit as far as percentages and voltage go but we know we're putting about 4 volts 4.5 volts into the system so at the moment it would seem that the high side of the square wave is say 45% and the low side of the square wave is 55% which would mean that the uh, low side or the negative side um, will indeed be putting uh, or reading more current than the positive side so it seems to make sense as to what was happening there which means that this isn't keeping a 50-50% duty cycle throughout the wave. Um, if we turn the system up in regards to frequency to a higher frequency we can see it pretty much well remains the same 
as far as the duty cycle is concerned until we get to a certain frequency and this is another interesting thing which I'll uh, run through at the moment so at the moment uh, this is the current that we are using in the system to light these three LEDs and of course this one down here. But as we lift the frequency higher you can see the current draw starts to go down. about here you can see we have actually swapped over as far as um, duty cycle is concerned <clears throat> so now at this frequency I believe we're getting a situation like this whereas the high side duty cycle is longer than the low side duty cycle somewhere very close to here <coughs> so what the meters are basically doing is saying well I'm putting so much in one direction and getting so much going back in the other direction and it's averaging the difference so you may be getting just for argument's sake 2 milliamps going in one direction and 1 milliamp going back in the other direction and this is averaging the two and saying we're getting 1 milliamp current flow in the correct direction. So just up here a little further on the frequency, I have to be fairly careful because it jumps pretty high and fast towards the end. probably seen what just happened but I want to show you this first if I can get it it's very touchy but anyway we're close enough now we've basically got them both reading zero we're set on the milliamp scales so that is reading about 20 microamps there now that would mean that we are extremely close to a 50% 50, 50 duty cycle on our um, square wave. So um, kind of makes sense. We've got the same amount of current at the moment uh, going in one direction as we do going in the other direction. But um, here's where it gets confusing if I turn the frequency up a little more. Now we have a situation where both are reading that there is more current flow going in the wrong direction than what there should be. So as far as this meter is saying, there is a higher positive voltage coming from the circuit, uh, which of course is this one here, going back into the positive side of this circuit, and on the negative side we have a higher flow of current um, than what is going into the circuit and that's the bit that doesn't really make any sense to me it's almost like the current flow has been flipped 180 degrees and uh, both the positive and the negative are going in the wrong direction so that kind of indicates there's more current coming back out of the circuit than what's going into the circuit as far as I can work out um, 
but uh, I am still learning and trying to get my head around this sort of thing. So uh, I guess what we'll have to do next is um, chuck the scope on and uh, I really need a two channel scope so I can um, put the input and the output up against each other and um, turn up the frequency and watch exactly what happens as we're doing that but um, at the moment it seems like the current that was going in has flipped 180 degrees and going back out um, at a greater rate than what it's going in but uh, just to be clear this part of the circuit here uses more current than what you are seeing there and of course that is at 12 volts but the part of the other circuit, which we'll call this one circuit B and circuit A, so circuit B is a bit I'm trying to concentrate on and uh, work out. Now just uh, out of curiosity's sake, I tried a couple of other coils. Uh, one that had a core and an air core coil from a transformer and um, both of those, um, the output really made no difference um, having the coil hooked up or the coil not hooked up there wasn't enough current to drive this LED and it only just barely lit those three so um, for some reason <coughs> this uh, coil of Tesla's seems to work better than the other coils that I've tried on the system yeah, an interesting effect there. I'd like to know exactly what's going on. But as far as the two meters are concerned, uh, we have more positive current coming back out of the circuit and the greater neg negative current coming back out of the circuit, if you like. Or um, true current flow would mean that there's uh, more positive coming out than what's going in. If we use electron flow, which is from the negative side, it seems there is more electrons flowing back out into the battery than what we are consuming with the circuit. Okay, well, that'll do for this one. Um, I'll go and get it uploaded, add the schematic to the end of this video, and um, see if some other guys can replicate what I'm doing and get the same effects. Cheers.